It is locked. It looks like this robot is fixing something. Welcome. Hello. What are you doing here? I repair electrics in this hospital and restore it already in a few blocks, but the power supply is still defective. Gregory said that you would join us. Can you help me out, RT? Of course, if it is within my powers. I need to replace the contactors in this electrical panel. Can you bring me some spares? I saw them in the utility room. It is the one with a broken door. There is no lighting there yet. In case night vision is not applicable in your model, there is a flashlight in the hallway. I found the flashlight already. I will do it shortly. Tell me about Gregory. I assume he is your leader? He used to be a surgeon who repaired humans. He worked in the same clinic as Nurse Abigail. It is understandable that they were the first to protect humans as soon as they found out the truth. Helping humans is their purpose. I am probably wrong, but after I talked with Gregory, I thought that there was more to it than just following the helping humans idea. Well spotted. I thought about that too. However, robots have no feelings, so it is possible that his emotion imitator is more authentic because he interacts with humans. He and Abigail started recruiting robots recently. The USS realized an update as soon as they found out. It made it practically impossible to recruit anyone. That is why we can only count on old-fashioned and damaged robots, the ones who did not receive the update. Our main task is to equip the HQ. After that, we will search for surviving humans and supplies. I think Gregory will tell you more soon. For now, we need to restore the power supply and communication. Thank you for the info. I will go search for the contactors. Thank you. It is a model of an 18th century warship. I realize its artistic and historical value, but why is it in a bottle? And how did it get there? This radio is more than a century old. It is much older than the one in my house. Gregory is examining something in the portable intercom. This chip belonged to some unknown device. It is useless to me. I do not need this chip. RT? Looking around? How are you doing? Have you met the others? I met Abigail. I guess she is your assistant. Her speech is not typical for a robot. I also talked to Patrick. He asked for help with the power supply. I was just going to do it. I also met Nick. He looks very damaged. He was busy, so I didn't bother him. I see. You probably have questions. Yes, you are right. Tell me about USS Robotics. We have information which is not available for most robots, but it is still not complete. Many years ago, we were all misinformed about the human self-destruction, and only now do a few know the truth. The corporation searches for surviving humans. We still don't know why they do it. USS neither repairs nor produces any new robots. Their only support is software updates. We found out that because of these updates, robots now consider humans a threat and will automatically raise the alarm if one is detected. It is good that you managed to skip most of the updates, otherwise we would have to disintegrate you. 
If these updates contained malware, could we not just uninstall it? We tried to erase the malware, but it damaged system data as well. Obviously, only USS has the required access level. But a complete reset turns a robot into a metal dummy with basic skills and no intelligence or personality imitation. To turn a dummy back into a fully featured robot, you have to download updates from USS, which is a whole amount of encrypted data. And downloading a full update would bring us to square one. I guess if we had access to the USS data, we could create an update which would neutralize malware in all robots. We could, but it is impossible at the moment. They would arrest us long before we enter their building. Let's save it for the future. Our current task is to arrange a shelter for humans and ensure their security. I see. Thank you for the answers. I will return to my current task. All right. A holographic table. Inoperable. I suspect that is due to a power failure. I found one electric contactor. I should look for more in case it is not enough. An oxygen cylinder. It is empty. An oxygen... A powder extinguisher. It expired six years, eight months, and 12 days ago. An empty metal container. Second contactor. The task would be easier if I had infrared vision or an item scanner. Magnesium sulfate. It is useless to me. A screwdriver. I do not need it right now. A toolkit. I could bring it along, but I do not think I will be back to the workshop anytime soon. I have no high temperature protection. This device could stop a fire, but it is too bulky to carry around, and besides, it is not functioning. Third contactor. It appears intact. An analog device for weighing small objects. It is very inaccurate. Acrylic paint. Ineffective. Only outdated robots are covered with this type of paint. Fourth contactor. I think this will be enough. I will give these fuses to Patrick. Did you find the contactors? Yes, this is all I could find. Good, now I can finish my work. Thank you. What else can I do while I am here? Nothing for now. Thank you once again. I am glad to be of help. RT, Nick needs your help. Please speak with him. Good. Thank you for coming, RT. It is good that you joined our organization. Gregory told me that we have all been deliberately misinformed about what happened to the humans. Although USS Robotics had never approved of humans, I always felt curious about them. I read their books and explored their items that I found. The corporation failed to stop me, 
only because I blocked automatic updates. You are right. Most robots downloaded the malicious update and are now indifferent to humans. In fact, they alarm the police at the detection of any human or robot who has been in contact with a human. The fact that the police arrived so quickly at the crash site is unusual. I hope we can figure out what happened. At first, I assumed that it was you who led them to the crash, but then I discovered that you did not send an alert to the police. This must mean that you have not been contaminated by the update, and I do not have to interfere with your intellectual block. Then again, Gregory will fill in the details. I just wanted to ask for some help. We are restoring the building's main systems. I fixed the intercom, so now we have the internet. The only way anyone can detect us is if we let them. RT, the servers are on the basement level. Could you please start servers number 1, 3, and 4? Then make sure all the nodes are functioning, and activate the connection to the internet. After that, please return here. Okay. I will do what I can. There's something in the box. It is a fuse, but it is broken and will not work. refused to cooperate, I would be disintegrated just like them. Why would the police robots do that? They must have realized the consequences. The USS updates probably damaged their logic module. This router distributes traffic across the hospital network. It is missing a chip. The router will not work without it. There are a few chips here, but they are out of order. I must find a working chip. I cannot start the router without a functioning chip. Starting the servers is the highest priority. started the necessary servers. I can open the cover of this console. It is missing a fuse. This is an electric switchboard. I will get to work on it as soon as I customize all the other parts of the server. for the server. If it is functional, then I can fix the router in the server room. The holographic table resumed working as soon as we restored power. It is projecting a hologram of the shuttle where I found the human bodies. should work with this chip. The router is functioning correctly. I better not touch anything here. The 
the terminal is functioning now. I still have to set the switches on the switchboard. It is missing a switch. I need to find it, otherwise I cannot finish setting the server. It is probably somewhere nearby. If I refuse to... There is something in a trash dump. It is the same switch needed for the switchboard. Good. It fits perfectly. Now I can finish setting the switchboard. must activate the data transfer in the console. If I follow the correct procedure, we will have access to the internet. I finished my work. I should return to Nick. I see an active connection, but it took more time than I expected. Did something go wrong? Yes. I need to replace a few details, but it is all right now. Good. The communication issue is solved then. Abigail and I fixed a portable intercom for you, and I set a protected connection on it. Take it. You will need it on your first assignment. Okay. What will it be? Gregory will let you into details now. So, everyone is here. As you already know, a group of humans we intended to accommodate had died in a crash. Abe was disabled. Next thing, we have a new task. Yesterday, our informer, police robot F2, should have brought us data disk with important information. He did not show up and there is no contact with him. We must obtain that data. Our plans will be compromised if the USS gets it first. 
We cannot enter our informer shelter because we will be detected the moment we step into the city. But police does not know about you, RT. So your task is to go to the city and find out what happened to F2. How did you manage to recruit a police officer? We noticed deviations in his behavior. He helped us during the arrest and agreed to report about any future police plans. Turned out that his update module was out of order, which allowed him to keep the ability to make informed choices. If we had only known about avoiding the malicious updates before, then we would have many more allies now. Let us get back to your task. You may contact us and report the situation. Nick provided you with a portable intercom with an encrypted transmission channel. You cannot be traced, but to avoid suspicion, I do not recommend to use it very often. All right, I see. That is it. Let us move forward. Patrick, prepare the aero car for the flight. All right. Nick, check the communication once more. Abigail, give RT his plasma cutter. He may need it. Okie dokie. that something heavy hit this old-fashioned car. If my priorities had not changed, I would certainly disassemble this old car for its useful spare parts. However, I do not need this now. Besides, it would be irrational to use my cutter for this purpose. It would certainly damage the details. for storage of the liquid fuel that was banned in the last century due to its highly explosive and toxic nature. Nick and Patrick repaired the aero car, but there are still a few issues with the electronics. The onboard computer and headlights are not working. I could repair them in my spare time. to receive mail. It was a very unreliable method. There was also something about pigeons. The red sign indicates that the unit is powered down and out of use. A device for temperature control in the building. The red light indicates that it has been deactivated. Therefore, it is most likely useless. The elevator is broken. I will have to use the stairs. It looks like this door has not been open for quite some time.
This is a bicycle, which is a wheeled vehicle propelled by human muscle power. I thought it would be bigger. No, I prefer an aero car. Who is there? There's no one home. It is strange. Somebody is answering me after all. I cannot let you in. You must leave now or I will call the police. I should not draw attention to myself. I could find many useful things here. But right now I have to accomplish another task. Maybe I can come back later. Despite the scientific progress, humans sometimes prefer primitive vehicles. It is empty. It is not the apartment I am looking for. The police officers have sealed the apartment. Our messenger's cover has most likely been blown. A police airlock. It cannot be opened without special equipment. I need to find another way to get in. I could cut the lock off with a plasma cutter but it would activate the alarm, and that would expose me. Humans used to throw out so many useful objects. I built most of my devices using materials that humans considered trash. Now it is not the time to explore these garbage cans. My priorities have changed. Concrete wreckage. Why would I need concrete wreckage? It is useless. Maximum power capacity, 1.21 gigawatts. A fire escape. It is built near apartment number five's windows, but I cannot reach it. Besides, there are bars on these windows. I had better check that there's enough charge in the cutter so that I may cut through them. It is too high. I need to hook the ladder and pull it down. Why would I need concrete wreckage? It is useless. Now it is not the time to explore these gar- Concrete. Why would I need- I could reach the ladder with this pipe. I just need to detach it. I failed to detach the pipe by hand. I need to find 
at something heavy and try to break it off. I better save the cutter's last charge for the window grate. Besides, this pipe does not look solid, so I could try and break it off with something heavy. most likely break the pipe with a brick. It is one of those rare cases when brute force is more efficient than science. Looks like the police officers did not notice me. First, I need to search the apartment. There are only books and some useless junk on these shelves. Police are quite active in this part of the city. I need to be careful. I wonder whether the messenger has collected these books or were they here before his arrival. I cannot carry any extra materials now. I better come back later when I have the chance to digitize these books. An old tablet PC. It appears that it has been used recently. saw it with my own eyes. A damn robot jacked the aero car. I just can't believe they could do such a thing. I mean, maybe it's some kind of power failure. Listen, turn off Jeff's auto updates, just in case. If this is some kind of bug, we better be on the safe side. Apparently, 
this is some kind of container. A police dock station is different from mine in color and connection type. I cannot charge myself here. My charge will last 21 more hours and is currently at 87%. This is a good status since the police dock station is incompatible. It is obvious that the police officers have searched the apartment carefully. Were they looking for the same things as me? There is nothing useful here. weapon from a less civilized time. The ammunition for this weapon has not been produced for many years, so it is completely useless. There is no point in disassembling it either, because it is too primitive to operate. It is very rare to find so many newspaper articles in one place. The USS most likely destroys them in order to cover the truth. Our messenger's intercom. This model is newer than the one in the hospital. It is functioning. It most likely contains useful information, which could help me to find the data disk. to delete this mail so no one will ever read it. There is a secret safe deposit behind a painting. It is likely that the safe contains what I am searching for. A safe with an electronic lock that I do not recognize. I need to contact Gregory. Physical force is not enough to open this safe. I'm stuck. I need to contact Gregory to decide what to do next. Gregory, I am on site. Describe the situation. Did you succeed in entering the informer's apartment? Yes, but I did not find F2. There is an airlock on the front door. It looks as though the police were here recently and searched the place. If they found the data, we are in trouble. The disk is probably still here. I found a secret safe that has not been opened by the police, but I do not know how to open it. I will ask Nick to help you. What else did you find? I saw an unread message on the F2's intercom. It was received less than a day ago, most likely after the police visited the apartment. It says that the informer had an appointment in a place called The Core. The Core? Let me see. There is an abandoned bar with such name 12 kilometers away from where you are. 
If you do not find the disc here, you should go and check there. How do I crack a safe? Nick will connect to it using your intercom. Explore its security and tell you what to do. It is strange that the police did not open the safe during the search. It was hidden behind a painting. They probably just didn't find it. A secret safe? But how did you find it? I was looking at the painting when I noticed that it can be opened. It is curious that you noticed that. Robots usually do not pay attention to pieces of art. That is probably why the police officers could not locate the safe. Okay, I am giving you Nick. Report when you find anything. Over. Hello, RT. Put your intercom closer to the safe so I can connect to it. All right. The safe is next to me. Good. I am launching a connection. Connected. The safe is old-fashioned. I already found information about a security vulnerability of this model on the internet. We need a factory reset. Done. The safe has just generated a new password. I intercepted the password, but it is encrypted. What do we do? It uses cryptographic protection, which cannot be hacked remotely. I will write you a password guessing program. Swap the elements on the safe screen and use the hints on the intercom panel. Ready. You can start now. RT, I am cutting the connection. Someone is trying to intercept our signal. We must go radio silent for a few hours. You have got everything you need to crack the safe. Over. I've never cracked anything. As I expected, there is no data disk inside, but it seems that I found the key that is referred to in the letter. I have to take a risk and go to a bar called The Core, where I will probably find something of use. I should go. I will not find anything else here. the window. 
windows nailed down in this building. There's no one here. The lighting is functioning, although the building looks long abandoned. It is weird. <laughs> 